New body camera video obtained by News 5 is giving us a better look at the events that unfolded after Euclid police shot an unarmed man last week. This all happened when police responded to a report of a suspicious car on South Lakeshore near East 215th. Then 23-year-old Luke Stewart was involved in some sort of altercation with police. Mona Kosarabdi joining us now. Mona, here, there's a big gap here in the chain of events, we're told. That's right, Rob. The Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation is currently looking into this case, but we've learned because of Euclid's body camera policy, they may never know what exactly happened the morning of March 13th. The camera clicks on and a Euclid police officer is hovering over 23-year-old Luke Stewart, giving him CPR. It's the first glimpse we see of the fatal March 13th incident where an officer shot Stewart dead. Assign somebody a crime scene packet. It all happened shortly after two officers responded to a report of a suspicious car parked on South Lakeshore near East 215th Street. Another camera, this time from the dashboard of a Euclid patrol car, shows more officers arriving to the scene. But these are the only images available that give us an idea of what happened that morning. Because despite both Euclid officers involved in the shooting wearing body cameras that day, Lieutenant Mitch Hauser tells News 5 they both did not manually activate it or the dash cam. You all right, brother? The Bureau of Criminal Investigations have not identified the officers involved. But in the video, you can hear a supervising officer ask this officer about the incident. You can see an ambulance leave for the hospital where Stewart is later pronounced dead. In the video, the supervising officer says he believes Stewart was shot twice. To the neck and the chest, possibly. And according to the Euclid Police Department, body cameras are optional for officers. They actually pay for it out of pocket. And if an officer has one, the policy states it's up to the officer's discretion if he or she wants to turn it on. No other officer that responded to the scene that morning turned on a body camera besides a supervising officer. As for, as for dash cam video, that starts recording when the police lights come on. Lieutenant Hauser tells me the officer involved in the shooting did not have their lights on at any time during the incident. Live in